it's About Town Dev, Debbie McCarthy with City Talk. I'm so happy to be back on set. Dream Pilot Films in Sparks, Nevada. Amber M.F. Hale. And Yay. you are leading with... Keeping it real. Leading, leading with, with love. love. So I'm so excited that you're back on set and what a set do we have Yes, today? this is beautiful. Tell me, where did you get these beautiful little balloons? Tracy Campbell, Party Hardy Balloons. Nice. And I know you're out and about a lot. Like mm -hmm. when you go to the rib cook-off, I don't know if she does rib, rib cook-off, but she does um, like the, all the stuff at the row in Atlantis. Yeah. She's their new balloon gal. Oh, like like the, uh, like the Italian the, fest. The Italian fest. Like when they have the big arch at the beginning and end of yes. Virginia. She does that. Nice. So beautiful. we're very honored to I have know. her I want to do this. And She's been like doing balloons for me since day one. So I I'm, remember there being an event one time where she did a giant champagne bottle <gasps> that had your. You were there. Or it wasn't a champagne bottle. It was your wine bottle. Oh, that's And it right. had your logo on it. So it looked like a bottle of About Town Dev wine. She's so good. Yeah. I oh, just so love her. We're so excited. But today's going to be a really fun community oriented show. And you know, we're all about local. We're all about mm -hmm. community. And it's so important to us because you're out there listening. We all know you have a local town, your local your local picks. We want you to share with us. Even though we're in Reno, Carson, Sparks, Tahoe, we don't care where you are. You are important, you matter to us. So we'd love you to chime on at About Town Deb and share with us your stories. It's all about the story. So we want you to do that. But today it is all about the great Reno balloon races. My favorite, one of my, one of my favorite events that How Reno long? has to offer. How long have you been going? Oh, this is going to be my third year with you going to the balloon yeah, races. But as a, did you? Oh go, my gosh, that's since what I was a child. You. Like the since I remember waking up um, when I was little, and my family would load in the car, and I'd be half asleep with my blanket, Aww. and we would go to Dawn Patrol. Um, I the, Reno has a lot of amazing events. Obviously, yes, we talk about them all the time. But the hot air balloon races, there's just something so whimsical and magical about it that it's truly my favorite. Well, I'm excited. So we're going to have Pete Copeland, the executive director. I'm so, and he's been, I want to say 13 years. We're going to find out all okay. about it, but um, I can't even imagine 13 years being the executive director, all the mm -hmm. stories he must have. And, all. and have, having a background in event planning and knowing uh, how massive <laughs> the balloon races event is, I... I commend you for that. Well, amount I'm sure of work. you're going to have questions for him. <laughs> what it's like to put that on? I mm -hmm. guarantee you yeah. are. And it tying in or tethering in, ha, tethering <laughs> in with the balloon races, Children's Cabinet. It's an <laughs> amazing nonprofit in our town, and I have been supporting them a long time. And they have this um, amazing event coming up, and they're going to share. And I think you might have a surprise for them mm -hmm. when they are on set. So we're going to find out how long they've been a part of the balloon races, and then we're going to finish off the show with Kay and Shy. And everybody knows them as Kay and Shy, the squeeze in gals, but they're more than mm -hmm. just squeeze in family restaurant. They're entrepreneurs. They're speakers. They're, they do a little, they have their own podcast. They're crazy, mm -hmm. amazing. They're moms, they're daughters, they're, they're rock stars. So they are going to be on for our Debs pick. Fantastic. And we may Yay. have a little quiz for them with the Debs mm -hmm. pick. So we do have some prizes. And look a sweet little prize. Yeah. Look yeah. Take a look. We have some Dorinda's chocolate. Yay. And it's logoed with the About Town Deb Yes, custom brand. little logo it's on there just logoed. for you. And you notice the color? You put my color ribbon. So <laughs> we just love their communities one and mm -hmm. together. So um, what have you been up to? Um, well, I got back last week from a little trip to San Diego with my family. Family's important. Um, so that was nice. Uh, and then yesterday, um, I met up with uh, Wayfair Cheese Shop <gasps> and Imbibe oh, Brewery. They're good. Um, we... We, as in Dorinda's Chocolates, uh, are going to be doing a beer, cheese, and chocolate pairing, Whoa. a five-course pairing. I'm excited. Um, on October 5th, so stay tuned for more information on that. But yeah, yesterday we met up over at uh, Imbibe's location in Sparks, and we sampled uh, different beers, and we brought our whole line of truffles and bonbons, oh. and Amy from Wayfair, oh, cheese is amazing oh i was my just gosh. there actually my friend crystal and i for the first time i was just there this weekend nice it's How, amazing the fact have... that you would, i was just there and and they let me sample all these cheeses so good yeah. so um we were originally going to do like a four course pairing um and we ended up we're, we're doing five because it was, it was just so phenomenal the the going from uh you know taking a sip of the beer and and then having the cheese and that's kind of an experience and then you go to have the beer with the chocolate and then that's the that's an experience <sighs> and you know, playing with those flavors, it's just so fun. So I'm excited. Um, yeah, really excited about that one. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> what so, have you been up to? Uh, well, 
I mean, you know, I keep it real and get personal. Yeah. Grandma B, this show is also dedicated to her. She's been going through a little bit of struggle with her health. So I've been taking some trips down to Los Angeles. And thank you, Southwest, for thank you. And reading out the airport here, it's so easy to get a direct flight to Burbank. And yeah. then I head over to, um, to Los Angeles. But um, this show is for her. She also got the set for us. And <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of caregiving, which I love. That's kind of my brand. Mm -hmm. I took care of my dad. So I've just been working on the show and working on being a caregiver. That's mm, I'm what proud I, of you for that. I know it's, I, it's you know, tough work. We got to do it. That family is yeah. important to us. So that's what I've been doing. Pretty mm -hmm. boring. Yeah. But, what are you wearing today? I love this. Well, you know, labels, labels, Blythe. Yes. Um, and you know, sometimes I kind of get things pronounced wrong. So forgive me <laughs> if I do. This is a Zadig and Valteria dress. Can we see it? Can you oh like, are you going to make me stand us? up? No. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I'll just a little peek. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a shirt dress. I've never worn a shirt dress, but I kind of feel like it's PJs because the balloon race is you can get up early. Oh, cute. So I'm kind of, and then the, yeah. the, the shoes are, um, Eula Johnson, and they remind me of the balloon races, the I basket. I love how it's like themed, like you paired your outfit I did. with the theme. I tried. I don't know. I got some basket. this one back there. <laughs> so we got fun on the set. Mm -hmm. And then the necklace, not that I want to show my neck, but I'm just being honest, is a Betty O necklace um, and mosaic earrings. And of course, Beautiful. I will turn around for this because this is important. Look mm -hmm. at the braids. Caliber hair Beautiful. makeup. Beautiful. So I'm very excited about that. And one more little shout out before we get to our next segment. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Do you have trouble with like keeping your nail stuff on? Like nail polish? Like, do you bite your nails? Do you peel them? Mm -hmm. I, I'm a really bad I try girl. not to. I try really hard not to. <sighs> Soak Spa is a nail spa. They... Are, you know, they put the gel on, they had them on really nice. And they told me like to wear, I was down in LA cleaning mm -hmm. for my mom, scrubbing walls, scrubbing floors. And I put the gloves on and even I think the moisture in mm -hmm. the gloves. So all they were starting to chip and peel. And then all of a sudden I was like biting them off and I yeah, killed them once all it, off. Once it starts going, it's and, hard to stop. And then I went, then sure. I bit every nail off, <laughs> every nail. I'm just saying that happens to the best of us. I go into soak and I went like this, help. <laughs> and they didn't judge me. They're like, okay. Um, I go, you can just do whatever. Mm -hmm. So they are now fixed again. Keep them healthy. And I'm going to try yes. my best. And then I decided to get a little bowl. So I got like a little flower on my toe. They're oh, trying. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I know. I, Let me hold on to my seat I here. did. I, I'm wow. trying to get on my box. So between <laughs> labels and between soap. The next time, black nail polish all the way. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm going to no. keep bugging you about that. No. <laughs> Maybe. I may put a little black flower on it with a white dot in the middle. Anyway, so we are going to head to an amazing show today. So we want you to stay in your seats. We want you to listen because if you've ever dreamt of being up in a hot air balloon, this is a show that you want to be watching. So it's about Town Dev with City Talk. Amber Hale will be right back after the break. Tina, the Tina Turner musical. See her triumphant story and prepare to be ecstatically blown away. Direct from Broadway, September 26th through October 1st at Pioneer Center. On sale now at PioneerCenter.com. Welcome back to City Talk. It's about town Deb, Debbie McCarthy. I am on set here at Dream Pilot Films in Sparks, Nevada. Of course, Amber Hale is with me, my co-host, Pete Copeland, the Pete executive Copeland. director of the Reno Race Balloon the Races. <laughs> well, that's my balloon raising. <laughs> oh, we are. That's the that's the technique for balloon raising. I that's think you're missing okay. a giant fan, actually, because <laughs> right, right. I remember there being a massive fan involved, yeah. oh. and I was very close to it. And I was sweating my butt off. We were yes. both very close yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hot. Yeah, when they fire those burners. Well, you yeah. know, you had just said lifting up. You just said that. Yeah. So I'm just going to throw this in here. This was the quote that I was supposed to say the first segment. But you just you just made it happen, Pete. Did, I mean, I'm, you I, make things happen. I, I love that. <laughs> here we go. We rise the balloons when we lift others up. We rise like balloons. Aw, very on brand. So thank you, Pete Copeland, for <laughs> being that. on Love set that with slogan. us. Yeah, um, very thank nice. you. Um, we we're just very honored to have you here. Glad and, to be here. And thirteen years. 13 years, hard to believe. Can I just say I love your energy? Yeah. You're so excited. Yay. I love it. It makes me, yeah. mm. makes us I love what I do. Yeah. I love what I do. And you know, I'm really lucky to, to do what I do. Yeah. Um, but it, it's funny, 13 years, it was supposed to be like a two year gig just to get the balloon races back on track. <laughs> it was coming in that pandemic, you know, the, the economic times oh, of the late economic. 2000s. Oh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's turned, went from a two year, you know, I'll go help it out to a 13 year love You got affair. suckered in. I loved it. Yeah. 
You or found I, that. I, I just You're stayed. Passionate. Yeah. <laughs> I mm-hmm. just stayed, but so when yeah. is the actual dates for the balloon race? I want to make year? sure we get that out right away. Yeah, this yes. year it's September eighth through the tenth. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, Rancho San Rafael, like always. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so it should be a great time. One month. Actually, it's uh, four weeks from Friday. By we the start time flying. we, I four think, weeks. by the time this is aired, it might be even sooner. So just so you know, <laughs> right. um, but the, the the cool thing is, um, this is an event like no other event in our community, and it's I free. Think so. It's free. Yeah. What kind of event can you go to where you see beautiful balloons and yeah. it's free? Well, you actually right. can't go to many ballooning events that are free because there's not many ballooning events that are over you know 25 balloons that are free, and uh, we hear that all the time from the ballooning community about. Why do you make it free? You need to charge, right? It makes us all look bad. But, you know, this is what we give back to this community. And it's it's a mainstay. It's the foundation of what the balloon races are about to the community. It will remain free. And I'm assuming that everybody who should be getting paid is getting paid fairly, right? So there's no need well, to... Well, let's not get carried away with paid fairly, but we are getting though. some level of compensation. <laughs> yeah. But there's two paid staff members yeah. to this entire thing. Yeah. The rest is done with volunteers. Think about that. Amazing. How many volunteers? Yeah. Oh, an estimate. I don't even think you can five hundred to a thousand. And that just goes to show how the community, how much this community loves this particular right. event. Anyways, yeah. how yeah. many hours do you think they put into this? Days. <laughs> you know, it, there's a lot of hours that go into. It. There's so much prep work, and there's so much uh, preliminary work to get this thing done. It's funny. By the time we get to the event, we're so exhausted, but. <laughs> But it's so it's so rewarding and it's so fulfilling. But we have so many dedicated people; it makes it easy. And mm-hmm. when you get tired, and when you're out there at hitting the that wall in the eleventh hour, and you see people showing up and with the same energy and the passion that I do, man, yeah. it's easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. So balloons, the designs, as you notice, party hardy balloons. I came did want to say, I did say something I, I when I got here. I have to say, she went on Amazon and she ordered these and got these late last night just so she oh would have them gosh. here. Oh my gosh, beautiful! So you know. yeah. She did yeah. that as a bonus. Yeah. This was supposed to be we're in the clouds, and yeah. she said, I-, "I need, I need to up my game for you." Yeah, <laughs> so she how, did, and this is beautiful. So, how many balloons, and what are some of the different like shapes we're going to look forward to seeing? Good question. You know, we're always upwards of about a hundred balloons. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> That's so many. hundred balloons. A hundred balloons, yeah. It's, it's, it's quite a bit. You know, the one thing about us is we're never about more balloons. We're about different balloons and the right balloons because we're in such a confined area to, to mm. put this event on. But this year we'll be upwards of a hundred balloons, special shapes. We got some great special shapes. We have a raccoon coming in. <gasps> oh, uh, ra- oh, wait. You know what? What? My neighbor today said I, he showed me his phone. I had four raccoons in my front yard. I'm oh my sorry, gosh. you just said raccoons. <laughs> wow. like, I was on the way to the show. He goes, stop, I have to show you. You have guests. I'm like, what guest in my yards? And he goes, look at the cute. I go, oh. I, I mean, it? we cued that up perfectly. I so know, we have I was four gonna... raccoons dedicated in, in a celebration of your raccoons yes. coming to the event. So I, love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. We have a bill of the bear, which has never been here. Who's bill uh, of the bear? A bill of the bear is a beautiful white balloon, brand new, um, going to be fine for uh, the children's cabinet. Yeah. Is it a polar bear? <laughs> it is a polar bear very oh, good and they're gonna be on the next thing. yeah 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 so we're super excited about that balloon and of course who he's partnered with is always exciting for us so yeah my so favorite. we have a lot of great special shapes coming yeah. in Amber, my favorite what's your special favorite? shape what? is the big fishy one sushi sushi yes guess what like sushi. what sushi will be here this year oh uh, maybe go to sushi after <laughs> last year when we uh went to the balloon races and we I'm got hungry to go now so it's good <laughs> Last year when we got to go to the balloon race and we went up in one, we were in the uh, Sheriff Armadillo. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were Very cool balloon. We really wanted to have him on set yeah. after the show. Remember, we did make that happen. They mm. were very, we ended up doing a lot of work on that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we show, you get to show up on media day. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you just show up and their team is every yeah. time you're like, come on, come on, girls. Yeah. I, I believe that they were a little late showing up um, to the field. So um, it was us. We, we, we were like, you know what? You need help putting this this balloon up will help you and i remember tugging on those cords <laughs> and the heat and the giant fan and it was a little it was a little nerve-wracking a we few were times. a little scared a few times but as soon when when as soon as it actually you know went up it felt very uh fulfilling like yeah, yeah we did that well see that's <laughs> man that's just a great i couldn't pay for that kind of description that's what volunteerism <laughs> at the great Reno balloon race does mm-hmm. is you feel like you're part of the community this is a community-owned product right i'm just mm-hmm. the steward right i'm the captain of the ship but this is a community-owned product and this is what how you get right of passage and we've had generations now come through and do 
and experience mm -hmm. what that experience was. So it's really it's really neat to hear. So what would a typical day be like? You get up at what time with your, or, well, the volunteers probably get up at, they never go to sleep. You don't go to bed. You don't yeah. go to bed. <laughs> but I mean, for like a young, we're, you know, like you're, you're a young family, you have your young kids, you're so excited, you're new to Reno or you've been here forever. What would be a typical balloon race day for you? Well, first thing I would do is go to our website and get best practices and how to make the balloon race successful at you three o'clock yeah, oh, in the yeah. morning, right? right? At three o'clock in the morning. But if you follow those guys, well, there's nothing else like it. Disney, think of Disneyland at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing experience yeah. and that's what we can provide. But if you follow the, the eight or nine rules of getting in there, it's really easy. We have plenty of food. There's plenty of areas to sit down and, and view the event. Mm -hmm. You'll have a great time. You'll have a great yeah. time. So three o'clock? Well if, well, if you start at home at three o'clock, you'll be there by four. Okay, yeah. so yeah. you're there at four, and yeah. when they get there, what can they expect? Feels like the afternoon for us by four. Right, here, but, but they they can get you in early in the morning. We'll talk about the, at the um, the cloud nine tent. You can get mimosas and bloody marys. Yes, but I'm sure there's donuts and there's chocolate Absolutely. milk and hot chocolate there's for the food kids everywhere. And vendors, vendors all over. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. So when you come, you bring your chairs, you bring your, your you bring your chairs, you bring your blankets, you bring the things that are gonna make you comfortable while you're at the event because you go from the light or the, the dark to the light but as far oh, as all the beverages that. and foods and hot chocolates it's there and for you it's there for you it's easy to get you can find your spot um yeah and you can have a great experience i i love going to dawn patrol and so walking through because you know parking you have to be you have to be uh strategic when it comes to parking um and i have many memories of walking through san rafael in, in like dark. pitch black yeah and it's just like there's literally hundreds of people flocking in the same direction, just like through the park. Ooh. And it's like zombie apocalypse feeling. Um, but yeah, Reno shows out. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, it, it, no doubt about it. And you know, when you mentioned that, it, you know, one of the things best practice, make sure you have that little flashlight because it is kind of oh, a yeah, zombie yeah. apocalypse walking uh -huh. in. But, um, You'll just follow the crowds of yeah, people going yeah. in the yeah. same direction. So <laughs> speaking of flash, well, you said that, I was at Junkies because I'm doing my Debs, Debs pick um, with the next show and they have like those little flashlights. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so Always good to have the little flashlight. You definitely want the flashlight. Around, right? um, and while you're watching this, we're going to be sure as you're listening to show you some of the beautiful landscapes. I have, I have at least three or four of my favorite picks that I picked of the, the sunsets and the balloons and Dawn Patrol. So you'll be able to see those as we're chatting. So I'm yeah. excited to show you that. Um, we're getting down towards the end. So, I'd love you to share like your, what are like your favorite memories or something that really went, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I'm here. Like what, what do we need to know? Uh, what touches you? Well, I think what touches us the most is not maybe in a particular memory is what we get to deliver to the community. I think yep. it's really, you're really honored. You're really humbled. Mm -hmm. It's really grounding. You don't do this to get rich, but there's this rewarding feeling of when the day is done and everyone's walking away and the families and we never have incidents out there, right? It's so well policed by the fans. It's amazing to me that you could put 50,000 people out there mm -hmm. and they all just are out there for one truly pure thing. And that's just the beauty of the balloon. So I think for me, it's those memories is just watching the, the gratification we can, we can deliver to the event. Website. Renoballoon.com. Can't get any easier than that. Renoballoon.com. So Amber, do you have a, a favorite memory real quick that you'd like to share? Uh, honestly, just, just sitting in the grass, bundled up, watching the balloons glowing. That's my Aww. favorite. That's my I would say favorite. my favorite memory is going over our friend's house when the kids were like four and five and six and the parents would all be there. They'd have a sleepover. Their, <gasps> their backyard opened up into it. The kids would run out and they'd watch the balloons and we're like, have fun. But it was just, they really couldn't wait for that sleepover that night to get up early to be out there. Cute well, little and, tradition. And generational. Yeah. You're going to have a couple guests on later this morning, Kay and Shai, yeah. and you just explain their experience. With yeah, them, so we're excited so, about that. Um, yeah. So, so thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. I'm going to end with one other quote because that's kind of my tradition and this just fits in perfect. It says, there are times in life when people must know when not to let go. Balloons are designed to teach small children this. Did I say that right? There are times in life when people must know when not to let go. Balloons are designed to teach small children this. Mm -hmm. So, and I do, it's, it's a memory and you'll never forget. So we invite you to go to the website. Please, 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 if you're in the area, please go visit the Reno Balloon Races. And thank you again, Pete Copeland. Thank we you. come back. Thank you. Children's Cabinet will be joining us and we're going to show you how they're connected with them as well. So thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Imagine extending your family support system. 
Imagine an advocate who can guide you to the resources you need. Imagine an organization that offers free services to keep you and your loved ones thriving. The Children's Cabinet makes these a reality. We meet families where they are, ensuring they can reach their goals and reignite their power. Together, we can achieve anything. Learn what's possible at childrenscabinet.org. Welcome back. It's About Town Deb, Debbie McCarthy with City Talk. We are at Dream Pilot Film, Sparks, Nevada. Amber Hill, thank you again for being on set, being an amazing co-host. And we love to talk about the balloons. You know that. I that know. Is like, and we get to go with the media balloon I'm so again. excited. I'm getting very excited about it. I know. <laughs> that means we get to get up early and maybe we need like new sweatshirts to say City Talk on them. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm thinking we might. And I think the Dream Pilot does some printing. So Nice. <laughs> Maybe we'll be doing that. But we're very happy to welcome, we love Children's Cabinet. You guys just do so much. And we're, you know, Amber's going to ask you some questions. But we have Ashley Foster here. And you, you look stunning. I love I love the whole look. You're wearing Deb's color. You're wearing my color. <laughs> that that is my color for my my logo. Just so you know, I that's love probably it. why I loved well, it. I just wanted to blend in. Okay, <laughs> and you are the um, donor relations director, and that's such an important. <laughs> We definitely need somebody to coordinate all those amazing donors. And then we have Emily Freitas. Did yes. I get that right? Yes. The marketing and, um, director and coordinator. That's such a huge task, too. Yes. As, as Amber knows, she does tons <laughs> of marketing. Yes. <laughs> and um, it does take a team. And you have an amazing team there um, and a great board that does yeah. wonderful things. So um, I'm going to let Amber take it over from here. Yeah. So um, how long have you guys been with the Children's Cabinet? Uh, I have a pretty new team, actually. I've um, only been there about eight months, and Emily's been there about three or four. Gotcha. Wow. wow. So fresh. I Honestly, yes. I love that because you guys can just kind of, you know, group together and um, get it off you could get it off going on how you would like it, how it works for you. Um, what exactly is the Children's Cabinet? Sure. So the Children's Cabinet actually has been serving um, children and families in Nevada since 1985. Wow. Um, we provide programs and services for children from birth to age 24 and their families all with the goal of keeping children safe and families together, um, meeting unmet needs and making sure that families and their children can thrive within their homes, within their schools, within their neighborhoods and within our community. So within the, the, those ways that you are helping families, what are um, the, like, the most common things sure. that you're doing? Absolutely. So we do everything from provide resources to parents looking mm -hmm. to find early childhood care for mm -hmm. their little ones because we, we know that when children are in early childhood care, we know that parents can be out in the workforce too. Right. Um, we also have parenting classes. Sometimes you're not sure exactly how to make every day a learning um, environment for your children. So we have um, some room programs as well as connect with your teen. Um, often teen what yeah. kind of program was that? Bro the Vroom. Vroom. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I sound, yeah. What is that? So Vroom is, there's an app as well as little cards. And they're easy ways for parents to make everyday activities a learning experience. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you're outside um, at the park and you say, oh, how many birds do you see up in the air? Mm -hmm. um, you know, what color are the birds? What kind of a sound does a bird make? Maybe you're at the grocery store and you're asking mm -hmm. what color different fruits are. Maybe you're asking oh. how many are we putting in the bag? Um, so it's just ways to encourage parents as their child's first and most important teacher to set the foundation so that we can get kids entering kindergarten ready to learn, yeah. reading at grade level at the end of third grade, and then graduating high school yeah. on time. So children's cabinet would be something great for like new parents to have resources. And because yeah, I, yeah, when people have kids, that doesn't mean that uh, everybody's ready to just know exactly how to take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I'm yes. great that we have that in our community. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Every child and family that walks through our door is offered case management from one of our dedicated case managers to sit down with the family and figure out what's going on in the home um, and what unmet needs there are so mm -hmm. that we can help connect them to the resources or provide the services that we can um, to get that family. What would be the first connected. step? Like if, you know, a new mom or you mentioned up to age 24. Age 24. So how often, you know, I mean, I know there's lots of new moms that are saying I'm brand new or, you know, I, I'm, I'm going through a hard time right now. Absolutely. But how often do you get somebody who has a 16 through 20 year old? How, how do they even find out? How do you, how, how does it all happen? 
Um, we take referrals from lots of different um, partners throughout the community, um, as well as just the community looking for resources. So you can go to our website and look at all of our upcoming parenting classes. We offer them, whether you've got tiny littles or like I said, teenagers, um, and just help build that community of parents so that you have a village um, and you can kind of help provide more resources for, for your children. Mm -hmm. So you can check out our website at childrenscabinet.org. Yeah. Um, so with Emily being in the marketing part of it, yes. There is lots of things coming up and there's a huge event coming up. So I'd love you to share a little bit about the event, the title of it, and tell Absolutely. me how long has it been going on. I know it's yes. one of my favorites, so share a little bit about that because you are here because of that. Too. Yes, absolutely. So we are celebrating our 25th anniversary of Art of Childhood, so very exciting. And being 25 years, we're doing Pop of Silver, so that will be really fun. So you wear a Pop of Silver. Yes, yes, but we've heard everything from, oh, I have a sequin jumpsuit, to I'm Ooh. just wearing some silver jewelry. So silver we'll body see. paint, head to toe. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Maybe. You're not gonna get me in silver body paint. I'll tell you that, not happening. Yeah, but it should be a lot of fun, fun themes, so. Yeah, so is this excited. like a ticketed a gala do people buy a ticket and come like, yes what does that look so like? they buy tables um mm -hmm. we're expecting probably 400 450 people this year yeah and so who, who does that benefit Yes, so that benefits directly the children's cabinet, um, and we will have a fund to need appeal as well that will support our family counseling program. And you have mm -hmm. auction items. Oh yes, yes. lots of silent auction, <gasps> live auction, of auction items. items. Speaking I of think which, we have a surprise for you. Yes. Oh, wonderful. We have a surprise. Yay. Um, so Deb oh and I um, put together this little basket for your guys' auction that'll be featured there. So um, if you want this beautiful basket, please. Absolutely. And it is a staycation. <laughs> it's a local staycation. Um, and I'm, we're going to like, I, I'm all about when I win something, I like to redonate. I always feel guilty taking it. So we were, um, I was at the Riverwalk Merchants um, event last month and my friend Don Butterfield, who's very active, he's been on the board there. He won an overnight stay at the Marriott downtown by the ballpark. Yeah. And I'm like, you're not even a member. I brought you as a guest. <laughs> you can't win that. And, can't he said, win. and he goes, well, I can, I go, you can donate it. I'm mm. making a basket. So he donated the one night stay and of course we have the about town deb wine and we have crystal basin um we have dorinda's chocolate and um so you, you have a lots of goodies that i got from the reno tahoe airport awesome. i got some goodies from them so i just like to share the love and we have a cozy blanket there's candles and love it's it. just a way to take that time that sometimes you just need to take time as a couple or as best friends or yourself and go and just enjoy our town Reno has, and again, maybe they can get the night of the art of childhood. Yes, Well, they absolutely. have to win it first. They yes. can use it after the fact. <laughs> yes, but, bit um, away. This is but awesome. But we're really excited to be able to support you guys and to be a part of it. And I want to say this quite a few years I've been doing this, but I am very honored and grateful just to be able to say that I'm part of it. Um, yeah. So the other thing, um, what opportunities do people have to volunteer? Like how does, how mm. would they get in touch with you? Absolutely. Too? Yes. So we have a volunteer page dedicated to all things volunteer volunteers on our website so they can go on there see all the volunteer opportunities for the month they can sign up right there they can always give us a call as well and say hey I'm interested in volunteering what do you guys have coming up um, one of our big events that we need lots of volunteers for is the Great Reno Balloon Races. So definitely <laughs> looking for volunteers for that. And how really excited. Tell, yeah. What will these volunteers be doing exactly? Like what do you... Yeah, so what we do with the I balloon races one. is <laughs> we give about 600 tethered balloon rides a day to children. Oh my gosh. Yes. Whoa, so the volunteers so cool. do everything from, you know, getting the little kiddos to the balloons and helping them get inside. And it's just a really I amazing that event. I joy on their face is so oh. fun to witness i bet some are scared too <laughs> yeah I bet well, that's they don't go too funny. far off the ground so that <laughs> they're that tethered i could imagine yeah. i could imagine um some of them being a little mm, standoffish <laughs> sure yeah and that's where the volunteers come in yeah. and just help some them encouragement along the way. exactly yeah. and then it's an amazing experience that they'll have forever so it's the 30th year Yes, that is amazing that you've been time. partnering a long time. So I know you're newer to Children's Cabinet and even just being there a, a few months. Mm -hmm. What is your biggest takeaway or memory from helping a family member? Is there something like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful I'm here today? Absolutely. So I work on a lot of the success stories. So wow. I get to kind of hear, you know, where families were before they found us. And then we get to see them, you know, today and how they're thriving. So to just see that shift in a family is very impactful and just 
keeps us loving what we do. Um, and I'm sure it's important to share those success stories absolutely. because I mean, just like with a lot of things in our world, I'm sure there's a lot of stigma around people reaching out for help. Like you don't have to be, um, you know, struggling to reach out sure, regardless yeah. in that you, there shouldn't be a stigma surrounding that. So mm -hmm. you guys being able to share that with people probably puts that message out there more. Absolutely. People recognize their own situations in some of those stories and they say, yeah. you know, wow, I could really benefit from that as well. And then they seek help from us and yeah. we do everything you don't that know we can. until you know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you want to adopt a family, I know we're, we're running out of time here, but That's I know okay. when the holidays come and different things come up and the holidays are going to be here right around the corner, they are. Yep. <laughs> how would we get involved with that? Because that's important too. There's a few different opportunities. Um, so you can adopt um, one of our children's cabinet clients so that we can give someone that our case managers are working with an incredible holiday experience. You can also sign up to um, support our toy table where we invite community members in who um, can kind of shop for their families. And we work with donors, whether it's a company or you're doing your own um, drive, or maybe you're out with your kids and you just pick up a couple extra gifts to drop off at our toy table um, to help another family family have an incredible holiday and for that you can also visit our website again um, at childrenscabinet.org for those um information those should start in september so um so do you have a memory i know we're out of time but this is important yes so i can tell yes. she's like give me a memory okay so um we house all of the gifts that donors bring at the Rock office um, for the adoptive family and the toy table. And when a family comes up to pick up their gifts, our front desk scales over the intercom, elves to the front. Oh. And we all put our little elf hairs on and we run to the front <laughs> and we load up these families' cars. And you see these moms just tears or their dad. And they're like, our family wouldn't have this Christmas without you. We even had a donor come back this year and said we helped him as a single Single father 30 years ago and now he wants to donate and adopt a family this year and that's why we do what we do yep. that we're says good. it all right yeah. there guys <laughs> that says it all um so we're gonna we want to thank you again both of you for being here it's such an honor to have you on set and for everything you guys do every single day when you go back to the office please tell your team that we are so appreciative of putting together a good team and being a part of our reno community for so long so we want to thank you with that and out there listening, please, if you have any inkling where you need some help or guidance or have questions, please call the Children's Cabinet. So we are gonna take a quick break. And Kay and Shai, I think we got some mimosas coming up next. So it's gonna be a Ooh, fun. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna, we, have, we have some quizzes for them as well. So we appreciate you. We thank, thank you. you. Thank it's you. It's about Tom Deb with City Talk and Amber. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Brandon Bianco and I own Dream Pilot Films here in Reno. I founded this company in 2016 with a mission to help people, organizations, and businesses become unstoppable towards reaching their goals through cinematic video and high quality photography. We've worked on both sides of the camera, producing commercials, events, documentaries, social media content, weddings, music videos, YouTube series, reality, short films, as well as many other types of projects. But we're more than just a video production company. We also have a print marketing division, graphic and web design, as well as a social media management department. Our goal is to help you market your brand through any of our departments in a way that helps you stand out above the rest and impress your clients and audience. The digital age is here, and we can boost your visibility to where it needs to be to compete with the leaders in your industry. We look forward to putting our talents to use and push your message forward. Welcome back. It's About Town Deb, Debbie McCarthy with City Talk. I am on our set at Dream Pilot Films. Whew, Amber, 
What a show so far. It's getting far. warm in here. It's getting <laughs> hot in here. And you know, when it gets warm, you might want to have a little bubbles or just some juice. So Kay and Shy here, squeeze in gals. You're more, I always call you that. To me, like, I, I feel like I'm their Aunt Debbie because I've been following them. I'm so <laughs> proud of them. You guys literally are everywhere and not just Reno. You're um, mentoring people all over and people are mentoring you and you're doing speaking and motivational stuff. And I could go on and on. It would take the whole 10 minutes just to talk about everything you're doing. And you have your own podcast. And I am just honored that you have been a blessing in my life and mentored me as well. So we are happy you are here and you're here representing not only Squeeze In, the Reno Balloon Races, um, which is a big part of your yeah. life too. How are you guys involved with the Reno Balloon Races? Well, we initially started with the Great Reno Balloon Race uh, going as children. And how old? Yeah. And, uh, was uh, babies. I zero. Mean, oh, this yeah, is even zero. better. Yeah. No, this we even started better. this attending this event when we were literally the babies in the blanket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Well, then it's even better you're here. Full circle. Right. Exactly. Uh, super full circle. Yeah. So we, we started with getting to attend the event and have always loved it and cherished it. Then began sponsoring it more and more through Squeeze In and through our business, eventually getting to even fly a balloon with a Squeeze In banner on it. Talk about a dream come true oh, for yeah. family business, wow. right? Yeah. Your family beloved event, and now you see your family business flying on a balloon. So that mm. was so gratifying. And now this year, yes. we are very excited to share that Kay and Shai are co-announcing the Great Reno Balloon Race alongside Ron, who's been the voice of the balloon race for the last oh, 42 yes. years. I know that voice. What an yeah. honor. <laughs> we're getting to come on and help him co-announce. So we're very excited. This year will be our first year. How did year. that come about? Well, last year, we were sitting at the Cloud9 VIP yes. tent, which would is sponsored recommend. by Squeeze In. Yeah, we're on Cloud Hi. Nine right now. We yes. certainly yes. are. Yes. Isn't that lovely? So, being on Cloud Nine, let's do a quick cheers to oh, Cloud Nine. Yes, cheers and this these cheers. are some mimosas, and there's different flavors. That's cheers. Right. We've got our yeah, Squeeze In Sunrise here. Mm. It's a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of cranberry juice, and a lot of bit of champagne. Mm. That's the Ooh, secret yummy. sauce, right? Oh, yeah, it's you mixed know. together. Oh, mm -hmm. the exactly. Orange. Ah. That's why we call it a sunrise. It's got a little of the pink, a little of that orange. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about and Nevada sunrise, you know that they're and beautiful. it's the balloon races. Exactly. Now I get it. I'm going to be drinking I, this the morning of the balloon races. That is the specialty I feature we, drink in the Cloud Nine Ten. It is. And also, what else is in the Cloud Nine Ten? Really quick. We'll have Bloody Marys in there. It's a, also I think breakfast is sponsored by the Row. Mm -hmm. So we'll have oh. there's food in the Cloud Nine Ten, and of course heated seats. So if you haven't bought your tickets. <gasps> Yeah, you don't have to sit in the grass <laughs> and you get VIP parking. Like when, right, class. The Great Reno Balloon Race is amazing because it's the largest free hot air balloon event in the world. Yes, for our community Come on hosting that. But for those of us who have been going blurry eyed and laying <laughs> yeah. on the ground for the last 30 years, the Cloud 910 <laughs> is so amazing. And, and like, you cannot overstate the amazingness of the VIP parking. Like, you can, you park right on the grass. A little golf cart takes you down to your oh, heated you chauffeur. Chauffeur. Yes, I chauffeur. Like being chauffeur. <laughs> it's so, fair. I would recommend the Cloud 9 VIP experience I'm, if you're looking for that next level. There, is there like a cap on how many people um, can participate and you have to buy tickets in advance, I'm assuming? Yeah, tickets yeah. are limited and you do have to purchase them in advance. So go to renoballoon.com if you're looking to get into Cloud9. Sponsored by Squeeze In will be there. At, it, it, the bar is included. So come yeah, on right. down. Open bar. Bar. So is that. it like a, it's all in one price? Yeah. Yeah, that your your buffet and your drinks come with the price I of did your ticket not to Cloud9. Your heated seating and your VIP heated parking. Ooh. The whole bit. But last year we were sitting in our Cloud9 VIP <laughs> Cloud We were at VIP. our table and the announcements are happening and they're going. And I look at Shai and I thought, I said to her, wouldn't it be fun if we got the opportunity to maybe take the mic and be a part of this? And we laughed and then we were practicing for like the oh, next, few, the next weeks. few weeks. You guys we are saying all kinds of things. Manifesting. Right? Flicker, flicker. Pilots from all around the world come for this special event. We were just practicing for fun <laughs> and fun. then stars aligned. The opportunity came up. Our CEO for Squeeze In has casually mentioned to Pete Copeland, the executive director, that maybe we'd be a good fit and turns out they're looking for a co-host and here we are less nice. than a year later getting to do the very thing we were imagining just 11 months ago. Uh, Yes, absolutely. Cheers! Cheers. Yay. That's amazing. Raise, Raise a glass. The glass. I'm in awe right now. Raise mm -hmm. a glass. So, <laughs> speaking of the manifesting, because you guys are very positive, and tell me a little bit about your their energy with your podcast. But that's what you guys are about. You 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 dream, you feel, you believe, you manifest, and it happens. 
Yeah, you're right. Kind of gals. They are. (laughs) And I've witnessed it. I've witnessed it. I've watched it. And I've kind of participated saying that I'm going to try to be like them. And I am right here right now. So that is that is a part of it. But I'd like you to share a little bit about your podcast as well and why that's so important to you. Well, we'd love to. You know, we're restaurant owners by profession. 20 years ago, Kay was 10, I was 17. Our parents bet it all (laughs) and we became a restaurant family overnight. So (laughs) like we said, that was 20 years ago. Now we've got 10 locations, a couple hundred employees. Uh, It's been a wild ride. So that's our profession. Our passion is absolutely personal development and getting to help others really light that fire inside, feel that energy for mm-hmm. what it is that they're doing in their lives and and find the gumption to make the world a better place. Something to be passionate about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, ultimately, I think for people bringing forth that potential that lies latent within them, everybody has passion, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that passion potential oftentimes just needs a little bit of awakening. Mm-hmm. And sometimes that awakening comes from seeing people like the two of you living out their dreams, right? Just by witnessing other people demonstrate the ability to set forth and do what's on their heart helps other people to light up and and wake up as well. So this passion for potential is something that the two of us have brought forward into the Infinite Energy podcast, which you can find on any podcast platform where you listen. We would love to have you um, to pour into your potential because ultimately that's what it's all about. Hmm. And I believe you guys, where do you film that podcast? Yeah, we right here in Reno, we record mm-hmm. our podcast, uh, the Infinite Energy podcast. And we've got, uh, we've been podcasting for a lot of years. It's yeah. gone through many iterations <laughs> from <laughs> one Yeti mic between I us. <laughs> with a, I, oh, and we had five listeners and one of them was our mom. And then, and the, and the other two were us. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I could have been listening to one I of those. Probably, more. And, and Debbie. Was listening for five. <laughs> I was probably, because yeah, I, I listened to like, you also had one like every day you yeah. had like a five minute, yeah. like a meditation and a thing. I, I listened oh, I to like that, that every day. Yeah, I did a little check in. Yeah. And you have an amazing yeah. newsletter. You guys have really taken it to all the levels, the right marketing. And it's not really just about marketing for you guys. It's about sharing your heart. Mm-hmm. And I'm honored that um, I've got to witness and watch you guys. And, and who are some of the amazing um, people you've worked with? And how brand? Oh, all kinds of fun. So you had the privilege of getting to work with, uh, likely most notably is the leadership author and expert, John Maxwell. We came into the Maxwell leadership world about eight years ago, started helping them build a marketing system that's helped account for $90 million in sales for that company and organization. And when we left that part, they asked us, would you become faculty and teach our members how to be coaches, speakers, and trainers and market themselves. So we currently also do that for the Maxwell team. Um, But the Maxwell's not the only one we've worked with. Uh, We also co-founded a a, a platform called the Neuroencoding Institute with a thought leader by the name of Joseph McClendon III. He's my favorite. (laughs) He's ready for that. I love him. I love him so much. I know, I love him so Sorry, I just got excited. He is the best. best. Okay. (laughs) He's been Tony Robbins' speaking partner for the last 30 years, and we are so proud to have co-founded the Neuroencoding Institute with him, um, getting to teach people how to effectively coach and transform others through the power of presenting and the power of using their their communication. Um, but of course, that all of this curriculum development and all of this teaching has led us to one of our favorite shared opportunities that Shyla and I have together, which is to teach at the University of Nevada, yes. Reno. Mm-hmm. We have the honor of uh, co-teaching a business and leadership class there, and it is just so fun and so fulfilling. I bet the students love that as well, the, the duality between you guys. I bet that that's really beautiful. Well, we must admit we do get good reviews. (laughs) We have one student say, even though attendance points aren't worth much, I still find myself wanting to come to class. And that's a huge compliment. That's a huge compliment. So do you have a a favorite memory? We're asking everybody that today. A a favorite memory at the balloon races. It could be Mm. when you were little, could be now, could be a memory to come speaking on stage. Um, But but what, do you have a favorite memory? Gosh, a collection of memories comes forward for me. The first is uh, less of a memory of a visual and more of a memory of a sound. We grew up right around Mm -hmm. the university, which means that it wasn't fall time until you woke up to the sound of... Yeah, yeah. That's good. right. That yeah. balloon sound I know that's the fire. <laughs> because we lived close, so you would hear it in the mornings, and so that mm-hmm. so the sound is the first thing that comes oh, forward for it. me in this collection. The, the next memory I want to share is uh, as we've gone through our journey and continue to sponsor the balloon event even more, we finally got the chance to ride in a balloon, and y'all, nothing. <laughs> I know. Amber and I love that's that. That's like no, another level. Right? I love being 
able to just look at Reno. You know, oh, you just look out in the mountains and you can, you know, you see all the little different spots. You can even see sparks over there, you know. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, we love sparks. I know, we I don't know. even, don't even let her say that. We I'm just sparks. kidding. But yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a fun feeling. And it's, and it's like a, it's a peaceful feeling because it's not like you're rushing through the air, you know, you're, you're floating. Right. And, and it's quiet. It, there's all this crowd and this energy and this excitement. And then you're one of the few individuals who's in that basket and everyone's mm. looking up at you, right? And you're like, goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> like, I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. no, and so I that feeling it. of getting just to, to float above and see it from that perspective, you, we've all now for literally dozens of years gone to this yeah. event and seen it from the ground perspective. So yeah. to see it from that perspective was just, it's well, unforgettable. It's We're out of time for this break, but we're going to have you stay for the final break and we're going to take it and we'll be right back. It's about town dub. It's Amber and Kay and Shy. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It's About Town Deb, Debbie McCarthy with City Talk. We are at Dream Pilot Films, Sparks, Nevada. And Amber, of course, is right by my side. Kay and Shai, wow. I loved your memory, but I didn't get to hear Kay's memory. Hey, tell me about your memory. <laughs> well, I have two, but the first one is actually a picture that I just... What? It came to me as we were sitting over here on the couch. Um, I A picture, I don't have it here with me. Can you email it to us? I will we email it to you guys so we can show it. Yes. It's, it's, it's so good. So I actually, as a kid, got to ride in the children's cabinet balloon. Oh my gosh. And so the, I was one of the the kids that got one of the tethered rides <sighs> in the children's cabinet you need balloon. That photo. And there we are in, in, and I'm in a little outfit, but that year I was a wolf pack tiny mite. So oh. I have a wolf pack sweatsuit on at the children's cabinet balloon at the balloon races. And so I just, today was a, a fortune. Yep, um, exactly. coming together of events. Uh -huh. You know how that happens though. Remember, I'm like doing the show notes and I really need a Deb's pick and I'm like, what am I thinking? Kay and Shy, like they're right down the street and oh my gosh, I knew about you, your new announcement. I'm like, I, I don't care what time it is. I'm going to email them. So <laughs> it, it just works out that way yep. with us. You have a second memory. It Did really you, okay. does. Yeah. Okay, okay. So the second memory and I'll be fast. So Good. last year we got to ride in a balloon and you don't control where you land. It's oh, just, I don't so, yeah. so y'all know, you don't nope. control where you land. <laughs> there is actually no steering I other know. than the wind. You get up there uh -huh. and it's like you can go and higher down. for this way yeah. and then lower for this way if you want to, but there's no steering. So we landed at Clayton Middle School and it was right at the beginning of school. And so everyone saw the balloons <gasps> happening and a couple of the classes <gasps> allowed the kids to come out yeah. and then help us take down the balloon. Dozens oh, of middle schoolers. Those oh, kids are going to oh, remember that. Forever. Dozens of middle school. Yeah. So we were in the basket coming down, like floating like the Wizard of Oz, yeah, you know, yeah, coming yeah. to the school. Uh -huh. And then the hundreds of kids come pouring out and then they help us to pack up. So that was just unforgettable. Again, you just shared that memory. This is a quote. This is so crazy. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, I love this. With the right motivation, you guys are motivators, everyone's head can be held high. And that's what you guys do. And that is exactly what the children's cabinet does every day. Mm -hmm. And you were in their balloon back then. They were on set. You're here today. You motivate. I am just, I think I, we you're, just too good. you're just too good. You're just too good and you don't even know. I don't even plan this stuff. I, but I'm just, I'm grateful about that. Um, so we got your stories in. You You've, said we have a game, Okay, right? you ready? Oh. Are you ready for the game? Game. Okay, here we go. I don't know. Shoulder wag. We, we have time. Are you ready? <laughs> these are like facts. Let's right. see if you know these facts. Okay. Okay. The first hot air balloon passengers were, they were little critters. Did you know that? Oh, were they, they? were people. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay, hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. this, you have choices. Let's hear. A squirrel, a turtle, and a rabbit. And a, okay, a squirrel, turtle, rabbit. A cat, a dog, and a mouse. A goat, a pig, and a cow. A sheep, a duck, and a hen. I would say the cat and dog one. The okay. cat, dog, mouse. Okay. I feel like it's the sheep and duck and hen. Sheep, duck, and hen. We get a beep oh. on that one. Yay! 
I really felt like this was going to be a setup for a guy walks into a bar. No, it's not. <laughs> she duck it ahead. She I feel like they duck it ahead into a hot air balloon and like can't it fly quack, out. Quack, quack. And the hen. The hen. Kind of. They all maybe fly. They I don't know, but maybe they didn't. Yeah. So here's right, another one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bomb. the bomb first down. first solo non stop flight around the world. I, I, I just, never mind. I just said that wrong, but that shows we're live. What <laughs> ballooning feat, what ballooning feat did Steve Fawcett achieve in June, 2002? Did the first non-solo flight around the world, mm -hmm. solo flight across both poles. Ooh, this way. Interesting. I don't know, I'm at. Yeah. Highest man balloon flight, first balloon to land on the summit of Mount Everest. What ballooning feat did Steve Fawcett achieve in June 2002? Well, it's not Mount Everest. It's totally not Mount yeah, Everest. Yeah, there's no way they were pop no. that balloon. That was <laughs> I think, I okay. think pole to pole would be kind of hard because um, I think it would be, I mean, I know it has to be cold, but like that cold, I would be afraid that the, the equipment would stop working. 2002 sounds to me like the, the age of extreme sports. Like yeah. we've got Red Bull. Ooh, yeah. We Ooh, thought, so uh -huh. I feel like we're looking at the highest. We just came flight. out of the nineties. I mean, she yeah. told us that she already gave us the answer, right? So you guys are all just being funny. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> what is it? Around the world. Yeah. The, only, the only real question is, did it take them 80 days? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to be studious. I know. Yeah. I was very yeah. great. I was very grateful. Okay. I didn't want, I thought, I, I mean, he's going to win the chocolate, but I'm going to take both the chocolates. I'm going to give you right. one more. Okay. okay this is like way too easy. Okay. I, I got too easy. I don't know. I would have thought guys. that last one. Here we one go. <laughs> the modern, harder, modern, hot, modern. 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 It's, a, it's a Debbie talk. Debbie talk. Tag it. Debbie talk. Hashtag. The modern hot, hot air balloon is made up of these three essential parts. The balloon part, the balloon part that holds the air is known as what? Parachute, oh. envelope, sleeve, crown, which one? Envelope. That's what do you say? The they all won. Envelope. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Well, I'm just, I just, I, we just want to have some fun questions. I love and that. because you were both here, you both are winners hey! of our Delicious Chocolate. Um, and with my little logo on there. Um, we're just Cute. really grateful yeah. you're here. Oh, and you. we're also just happy that we have this amazing Dream Pilot Studios. We have Surratt Law Practice. We have Design on Edge. We have Caliber. Mm -hmm. We have um, Soak Nail Spa. We're very, and Did You Print does our printing. Um, we're just very. Thank you, Did You Print, for these beautiful little. Did You Print, two cards. And we're just very lucky to have that. Um, we also have, um, you know, I say Dream Pilot Film is a good one to be here. And Caliber Hair and Makeup. Um, um, keeping you looking fabulous. Keeping it looks fabulous. So we're Labels keeping it real here. Thing. And since we didn't switch the cards, now I got my cards. So here we go. We also want to thank um, Design on Edge. I said Caliber, Dorinda's, Dulce Vita, Kimmy Candy, Party Hardy Balloons this week. Thank you. Um, Grandma B, of course. I don't know what I would do without her. And we're just honored that we had Pete Copeland here. And we had, you know, we had um, Ashley and we had Emily from the Children's Cabinet. And it's such a great organization. And Kay and Shy, of course. Um, I'm really proud of you guys. Like you guys manifested that and you made it happen. How like, uh, how did you feel at that mo that very moment when they said, hey, do you want to do this? How, what, what was your, did you have butterflies? What did you feel? Well, first we were extremely composed and then we went, yeah. <laughs> no, oh no, like we sat part. through the meeting and and like and my hands were sweating, but both of us were like hands on our knees and we didn't neither of us moved. We were statues the entire time. Like mm -hmm. and, and we were at a squeeze in and so afterwards Pete leaves and we're so we're and we're honored. We like get into the back room. That's so Did great. You scream? We, we close, close the, the door. door. We're like ah! <laughs> just wild arm pumping and free. I mean you got to got to celebrate gotta it right celebrate. like when something like that happens so you know what I would love you guys to do is to come back after the fact yeah I would love you to look up a photo of you guys throughout the years at the balloon races and then get you videoed on there I think that would be a full circle showing how a community supports one another and it just shows you guys that anything is possible so you're out there listening we want you to know have those dreams, have the hope, believe in yourself and find people like Kay and Shai that can help mentor you and help guide you. I have, Hey, I have bad days. I call Amber. I call Georgia. <laughs> you know, it's okay to reach out to your friends and we want you to know that we appreciate you for watching, for tuning in. If you want to be a part of the show, this is the part I'm just going to ask you. We do have sponsors. We do have advertising. We have product placement. Um, and we're going to be doing a special thing where we actually can go out on location and go live and it could be your very own show, your very own hour sponsored by City talk. So that's something new. And I'm going to end with a quote. And this one is history will judge us by the difference we make in everyday lives of our children. 
History will judge us by the difference we make in everyday lives of children. Nelson Mandela. And I feel like this is a, the balloon races are a children's event and we all are children at heart. Children's cabinet. Brings state. out the child inside it of you. It does. Absolutely, it totally does. So <laughs> it's the perfect quote to end on. And thank you. What well, website for Squeeze In? Because I live by Squeeze In, so I could just walk there. Yeah. So um, just, we want to make sure, because thank you guys for doing this. Yes, um, these are so tasty. So, yeah, that makes me want to go into website. the cloud nine tent. We are going to be. Squ website, Squeeze It's in. very easy. Squeezein.com, S-Q-U-E-E-Z-E-I-N. Dot com. We're not a hotel, so just one. They are not a hotel. <laughs> so again, it's about town. Deb, Debbie McCarthy. We have Amber. We have Kay. We have Shy. We had Pete. We had Ashley. We had Emily. We're honored to have so many amazing guests each week, and we want you to know that we are here for you. And as always, together we are one heart. It's about town, Deb. Oh, one more thing. Next week we have Kay. No, we don't have Kay. I wish I had Kay and Shy. <laughs> we had we have Sheree Butler. We're going to be talking about um, hungry VIP. So stay, stay tuned. tuned, and we're going to do our devs picks again. So we will see you next week. It's about Town Dev.